Lesson 8.3, areas of squares and rectangles. So how do we calculate the area of a rectangle? Rectangles, all right angles, congruent sides, opposite. And you may remember if this side is 8 and this side is, say, 3, the area formula is simply base times height. This is the only formula I really try to remember. I'll explain that in more detail in a moment. So we get 24. And we could write it as unit squared. At this time, I won't ask you to. So that's it. Base times height. Do the math. How about a square? Well, it's the same formula, but we call each side S because they're all the same in a square. So it's s times s, and some people write it as s squared. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's just another formula to remember. I'd rather do problems, so I just write it as base times height. Same thing as down here. Even though they're the same, it still works, and now I have less to remember. So, piece of cake. Well, what if I give you a complicated shape? Something like this. And I say this whole side is 10, and this is 4, and this is 6, and this is 3. How do we find the areas? Well, for a complicated shape, just divide into smaller pieces and add it up. Simple enough. So let's do this piece first. This one's pretty obvious. Area of that piece is 6 times 4 is 24. This one's a little more complicated over here. We have to think about it a little bit. This is 3. And this is 6. Well, if that's 6 and that's 3, then this has to be 3. This whole area is 10. Yeah, that's a little hard to see. Well, if that whole area is 10, this is 4. This would be 6 right here. So I recommend using these arrows so you make sure you keep things straight. That's one area. The other area is 3 times 6 equals 18. Area total, 24 plus 18 equals 42. So figure out each one and add them up. A little complexity there and figuring out what dimension goes where, nothing you can't handle. So that's one lesson. Now we get to triangles. Well, second lesson. So we take a rectangle. We know the area of a rectangle is just base times height. And we cut it in half across the diagonal. Well, that makes two equal pieces. And it creates a triangle. So if we have two equal pieces, and one of them is a triangle, we can say that this is the base and that's the height. The area of a triangle is just like a rectangle, except we cut it in half. So base times height. And that's it. We have a triangle, height of 3, and the entire base is 7.
Here is one half base times height. Don't be like me. For some unknown reason, I often forget my one half. 21 over 2, which is acceptable to me, or 10.5. That's what you want to do. No problem. Now, an important note, as you can see here, I drew in a little right angle. The height must be drawn perpendicular at a right angle. Or, geometrically speaking, perpendicular to the base. So we've got two triangles here. I'll draw one in red and one in blue. And here's the base out here. So we'll say the height is four. And this distance here, we'll call, no, it doesn't matter, nine. So the area of that triangle, red one, one half, 9 times 4, 18. Simple. Although this can be confusing to people. It's drawn perpendicular from the base down here on the bottom. Shouldn't that be that big a deal? But what if we have another triangle? And I didn't draw it on top of the red, even though it comes from the same point. It also has a height of 4. Same base. What's the area? It's the same. How can two totally different looking triangles have the same area? They can. They have the same base, same height. They have the same area. It causes worlds of problems for people. They don't quite understand it. So get this one through. I like to do this little demonstration. This is a sketch pad. Triangles in yellow, and I can measure the area. It'll do it for me. Bring it down here. And I can animate the point. So that it slides around back and forth. So it's moving over there. This has not changed. This is 44.49 centimeters. Keeps moving. Even that flat triangle has 44.49 centimeters. So does an isosceles triangle with the same base and same height, right about there, 44.49, even all the way over to the other side. Let's speed this up a little bit. And that's on the other side, still the same area. All those triangles have the same base, same height, because these, the base doesn't change, and these two lines, top and bottom, are perpendicular, are parallel to each other. So the distance between them, a perpendicular line, is the same. Confusing. Play with it. Get it. Last but not least, we've got two triangles. They're similar. I don't know. Let's just give it a right angle and that angle. Down here, bigger one. And give them a scale factor of uh, two. So my scale factor is six over three, it's two to one. What's the area of both of these? Go ahead and pause this and see if you can do it yourself. And now I'll do it. One half, the base is four. The height is three because it's perpendicular. Area equals six. Area equals one half. Base is eight. Height is six. Area equals 24. How do we get from 6 to 24? Multiply by 2. 
pardon me, by 4. But if the scale factor is 2 to 1, how do we get that? Well, that's a new thing for this lesson. We'll call it area ratio. The ratio of the areas. So that would be 24 over 6. I will abbreviate it as AR is 4 to 1. So take the scale factor, square it, and you get the area ratio. So 2 squared equals 4. That's what happened here. This is our scale factor. This is our area ratio. So when you want to find out the area ratio and you know the scale factor, square it, and that'll give you your area ratio. Lots more practice on that. Get working. Good luck.